Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm trying to get a lot of videos out in May and I figured that I would... Okay, so I still have wig glue. I still have wig glue in my hair. Um, anyways, we're doing a quick get ready with me today. It's gonna be quick, but I'm gonna run through a lot of different products and we're also getting dressed. I'm gonna show you what I wear from head to toe. Yeah, the, what we're getting ready for today is nothing. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. We are going to my daughter's softball practice and just a couple errands. But let's get started with getting transformed somewhat. <laughs> Alright, so, believe it or not, I've not really, barely brushed my hair today. I'm taking this comb. I'm taking this comb, we're just gonna comb through. And then I wanna show you guys this spray. Where did I find this at? I wanna say like Rite Aid or something, or actually maybe Target, and this is Wave Texture Spray. I actually use this on my daughter. It only does so much for me with my short hair, but I love the scent of it alone sometimes makes me want to use it. it smells really nice like a resort at a beach i never even been to a resort at the beach <laughs> and i'm trying to decide if i want to leave it down or put it in that little back ponytail but you know what i'm gonna leave it down since i put the spray in okay i'm gonna go ahead and tweeze my brows actually I want to show you guys a recent brow tool that I got from Sally's Beauty. Okay, so this is the Flawless Brow thing. I don't know what exactly it's called. I'll find it online and I'll put a screenshot from the Sally's website. This takes a battery and what you do, you literally switch it on. And it apparently... trims your brow hairs. It is completely painless. You can use it around your lip as well for your mustache. I like it to a degree. It's just that being that it's not plucking your hairs, it's just kind of trimming them or shaving them off. So they grow back in a day or two. So that's why sometimes if I get a chance, I do want to take the tweezers, these angled tweezers. I usually get mine from the drugstore like Rite Aid. And Okay, I want to bring my skin and my face alive, but I also want it to feel as light as possible. I don't want that heavy foundation feel today. Who really does? So I'm taking a just a smidge of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. All right, and um, a couple of drops of the Maybelline Dream BB Cream. I thought this had SPF in it, but I can't seem to find anywhere on the tube right now where it says that. <laughs> and this is my Dampened Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. Alright, let's see, what should we do next? Just a few more things on the face. This is a light look. Um, this is going to be like a soccer mom look. We are going to get to the eyes. I do want to do a very subtle brow fill-in. This is the Fenty Brow Pencil in Dark Ash Blonde. Perfect for something subtle um, when you have brows that are darker than this. It makes it easy to get a subtle look out of this. So pretty much, I just kind of fill them in and then extend the length a little this way and the length a little this way. So we have this pretty kind of blush bubblegum pink. Actually, it's a little darker than that. Uh, shade blush from Shop Miss A. I actually forgot that I did a Shop Miss A haul. So this is in place of a contour. This is my contour. This is what they call a blush contour. I think I learned this on TikTok. And you just kinda 
and drag it on. And I feel like it does kind of lift the face, brighten it. All right, mascara is a must. That's like one of those makeup items. Well, I guess you could consider no makeup makeup item and it's a kind of essential. This is actually from Adore Me. Okay, get a good look. Big difference. So I'm going to do just a thin line of liner on my upper lid. And then I'm going to accompany that with my most natural subtle false lashes that I have. If you like these, you can get these in my Lash Sweetie bags on my website, eyelashplug.com. Pretty much the only purpose of this liner is to make, give the lashes somewhere to sit on and look a little more natural. That looks really pretty actually. Okay, the only thing we have left with makeup is probably something on the lips and then we're gonna get to outfit. So all we have left for the face is lips and for some reason, okay, so I was watching Cruel Summer last night on Hulu. I finally started it. And in that one scene where um, Jeanette is like kind of her new alter ego, the popular girl, she has like these dark stains she has like a dark lip stain on it look really pretty i usually shy away from darker colors but i have this laura mercier lipstick in the shade mauve marble Lux, and i'm just gonna do a little see it's not actually too dark that's not even too dark just like it says like a mauve all right I should actually start using this more often and it has like a magnetic lid it's really cool okay so there's that I actually found this at Marshalls for $9.99 and I barely touched it that was like four months ago so I don't know if I should stay like this or add gloss because you don't have to wear masks it's outdoors hmm. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and have like the classic like mom lipstick look <laughs> I'm not gonna make it really glossy and juicy like so I love this top I own from Target. This is one of my favorite, like more practical, practical tops. This is a ribbed, stretchy, long sleeve. Also has a lettuce edge um, on the sleeves. Crop top. It's not too short though. Like, as you can see, if I wear something high-waisted, covers everything. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this on. This is from Target. Really cute and I love it. I just got it this spring. We're gonna see how it looks with these mom shorts from Sheen actually. I've only tried these on so far but I really like them when I tried them on. They were very comfortable and just a very comfortable fit. So I do really like them but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I have a cover tattoo right here and I don't want that showing yet so I have to go with something longer. We're going with the ripped Fashion Nova jeans. So I decided to change into this striped top. Again we have the lettuce edge, it's really popular right now from Rainbow and I know my bra straps are showing but I don't want to go braless and the color actually the color actually blends in. I'm also gonna wear my chunky Fashion Nova sneakers from last spring. Glasses, I'm driving and I need my glasses, so yeah, I'm gonna look like a nerd. Scent is Guess Nirvana Dream, and I also found this at Marshalls for only $6.99. So we're gonna get a full shot of everything outside. Ooh. 